Hello Knockouts, Tanya TKO here and I first wanted to give a quick I love you to all of my beautiful, wonderful, amazing Knockouts who have been with me and have supported me and have loved me and loved yourself through me through the use of TKO Skin and have watched my videos and have supported me and supported yourself through me over the years. I, um, I, it's been such an amazing journey, hasn't it? Well, we're here in the summer again. Well, we're coming upon summer, and you know that we typically close for the summer. Those of you on my mailing list um, know that I've been looking for a factory and ways to expand TKO skin. Well, I've come to a crossroads. Things did not work out in Texas. And, um, well, you know what? Maybe they did work out. Maybe things worked out exactly as they were supposed to. Um, you know, in life, this journey that we're on, you know, the, the only thing that I can ask of you is that you relax into your life and go with the ebb and the flow of it. Because you know what? None of us know. Nobody really knows what is 100% the right thing to do at every single turn and every single corner. The, the most that we can do is relax into ourselves and really tap into our I intuition and call upon our spirit guides and speak to our higher selves and see what feels right. See what feels right. And so I've been getting several messages from my life and the universe that I need to go in a certain direction. And so here we are at a, cross at a crossroads. And so TKO Skin will be closing at the end of June this year, 2014. And I know the way that, you know, the way uh, web purchases, the way, it, the way things go in, in commerce, you know, people look around and then they take some time to make up their mind and then they come back and see if they really want to do it and then they search and all this other stuff. Well, I'm telling you, from the business owner to you, that if there's something that you want to get at TKO Skin, Please get it now. Get it now. Um, there will there will always be some sort of way for me to be able to make TKO skin products, but I'm not sure of the scale. We are going to be leaving the um, the production loft in Brooklyn. Where we're going to go, I'm not 100% sure, but I've just been resting into my intuition and seeing where life is guiding me. I am, who I am, I am at the service of the universe. I am at the service of source. I am at the service of my higher self. And we, you know, I wasn't planning on this message becoming this. I just really wanted to come out and let you all know that we're going to be closing for the summer and for you to get everything that you need to get now. Um, but I will say this, right? And, I, and listen, we can, we can dialogue and make a lot more messages to one another. You can follow up with me um, and stay in touch. Some of you have been so good with giving me your words of inspiration and helping me research cities, etc. And so this is a special message going out to the people who have interacted and engaged with me. I cut about 50% of the list off. So half of the people who were on the list before who weren't really opening the messages and weren't really staying in touch, etc. I cut I cut them off. So I know for a fact that you all are my true lovebirds, that you all are my true knockouts, and that you are really in this with me because you all have opened my messages and have interacted with me and whatnot. So I really just wanted to come out and say that, um, but I felt like I would be remiss if I didn't add some additional information. Um, we are going to be leaving this space. Where we're going to be going, I don't know. But for those of you who have known me and who have come along the journey with me, most of you know who I am and what it is that I do. You know that I am here 
I'm here on earth to raise the collective consciousness or at least to assist in the raising of the collective consciousness and I know that my highest calling I know that my highest calling is one in which I am of service to people and their souls I don't know how else to put it their spirits their souls their beings whatnot so I know that that is my I know that that is my ultimate calling and um, you know, I want to I want to stop the video because I don't want people to go into a panic. And this is not it's not a this is not a video. Gosh. You know what? Okay. I'm just, you know what, I really, I wanted to come on, come out and put on a good face for the public, but I'm going to keep it 100% honest. I should have done that from the very beginning. This is what I should have done when I started the camera. How many minutes? Six minutes ago. All facade to side. Let's keep it, let's, 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 let's keep it 100. Let's, let, let's talk. Okay. You know how, you know how you see those those success stories of these people who have written their books and their, or the people who have out there who are out there in front of the public and they're talking about and they're talking about how they were successful lawyers or successful doctors or successful engineers or whatnot and that they felt a calling on the inside to do something different and so they even though that career was successful they left that behind so that they could pursue their dream, right? Okay. And you hear those things and they sound, they sound good in theory. They sound good in theory. But I realized very recently, or it's been kind of creeping up on me over the years, I realized that I'm kind of, I'm living in that cliche. I'm living in that cliche in that I have a really successful business that helps people, that people want me to stay in, and that a part of me loves being able to serve in. But my dream, my calling, lie elsewhere. For those of you who have been with me, along in this journey you know that I make positive uplifting videos to lift people's spirit and lift people's consciousness and I don't want to wait another moment to answer the call that I feel inside I don't want to wait another moment living a life that doesn't feel like 100 percent mine and you know what i don't know listen i don't know if i'll be successful Listen. I don't know if I will be successful, but I know that I have to try. Hold on, I'm sorry. Let me say that again. I don't know if I will be successful at my dream, but I know. I gotta start, I gotta try that again. <clears throat> you know, this is one of the hardest, this is one of the hardest videos. <sighs> Alright, pull it together, Tanya. Come on, pull it together. This is not. This is. This is why I wanted to just keep it surface. This is why I just wanted to 
keep it on the periphery because I didn't want to be emotional and I didn't want to and I don't want to upset people so let me try that sentence again okay here we go I don't know if I will be successful I don't know what lies for me tomorrow but I know that I have a song inside of me that needs to be sung oh I know I know that though we have this wonderful thing going on here together I know that my calling lie elsewhere I know that my highest service to humanity lie elsewhere and I love making TKO skin. I love it because I use it and you see as the tears fall down my face and I can wipe that I don't even, I have on no foundation, no nothing. My skin, oh it's flawless, I know. And I know that I've helped so many of you achieve beautiful wonderful glowing flawless skin helped you um helped you helped you heal your skin issues i know and i feel grateful to have been able to hold this space for so long i feel blessed to have been able to hold this position i feel blessed to have been trusted and supported by so many of you i feel blessed so thank you and a a and a thank you to you and i extend thanks back from you because we have been in this together so thank you we have come a long way and it pains me it does oh you okay i don't know if you, i don't know if you i don't know if you can imagine the pain because I know that we hold this space here together and there's nothing wrong with TKO Skin. TKO Skin is an amazing business and if things had been structured differently I would be able to hold this space in a different way. You know so many of you are so surprised when you call and I'm here and I'm answering the phone of course the products are handmade. I'm here, I'm in this, I'm together with you all every day, day in and day out. And I know that my highest calling is not in hand mixing creams. And TKO Skin is not done. We're not done. But I need to shift. And so that's part of the reason I cut the list in half. Because only the people, I, I'm, I really need to scale things back. And so I'm going to try to find a way to still be able to service to a certain extent so that I'm able to still help people get their product. But we need but I'm making a transition and a shift right now. I've begun applying to grad school, applying to go in for first my masters in psychology and going towards my doctorate in psychology, well in spiritual psychology, transpersonal psychology, to really help fortify myself with knowledge and information to help me be an asset to the people who I aim and want to serve. And you know what? There's a part of me that's sitting here and I'm like this is my dream this is what I want to do this is what I feel my calling is and there's a part of me that feels like that is just so ego based that this is something that that it just that it focuses on what it is that I want to give and want to do and feel that I've been anointed here to do and and that's not it that's not it I don't know how to describe it it's like it's like I feel an electricity inside of me. It's like I feel this charge and the charge is sparking and I feel it's like, it's like a, it's a, it's a, it's a, I can't, I can't describe it. It's an energy. It's a, it's a vibration. It's a mode. And you know what? I heard this. God, I'm so conflicted. Listen, I heard this. I heard this spiritual teacher or this teacher who is spiritual. Who was talking about how when we feel that we've that when we feel that we have a calling to do a certain thing that that's ego talking because all of us are a part of the same divine source etc and that that's ego etc and I tried to hear what it was that she was saying and I don't know maybe 
this is ego but I feel a, a charge inside of me and I feel this this peace that feels incomplete and I feel I feel oh how do I describe this I feel I feel a calling I do I feel this calling I feel a part of my soul crying out and telling me Tanya please Please don't die with your song still inside of you. Tanya, please, there are people out there who need to hear what it is that you have to say. God, I'm so conflicted. I'm so conflicted. Because while I know that, while I know that we are all part of divine while I know that the collective of us how we all make up source while I know that I still can't ignore this feeling that I have on the inside where I feel like I have an opportunity and I feel like there's a part of me that I mean really in the grand scheme of things really who am I I don't know who am I to say that I got something that other people need to hear who am I I don't know maybe people don't really want to hear it maybe that's just me Maybe it's all me. Maybe this is a figment of my ima imagination. You see, that's the thing. Like I said, nobody really knows 100%. And even me, as I sit here conflicted, I still have this feeling, this drawing, this electricity charged inside of me. And it feels like I need to plug in to my destiny. I feel like I have a destiny. I do. I feel... I feel like there is a person who is crying out from my soul to be free, I feel. And I don't know. Oh, honey, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, honey. I don't know. I don't know where this feeling came from. And I don't know why it won't go away. I don't know what it's calling me to do, but I feel like I need to answer. I feel like I need to answer, but why? Why me? I don't know. I don't know. But I feel like there's a destiny waiting for me. And I don't want to wait. You know, how many of you, how many of you have heard your parents and the people from generations past talking about what it is that they wanted to do? Oh, I wanted. Do you know what? I was talking to my father the other day and it broke my heart, it did. Because my father was telling me that there were so many things in his life that he wanted to do, and you know, and I, th I, fig I thought my father was pretty successful. And then he told me the things that he wanted to do and how he just, he didn't feel as if he could accomplish it and he really didn't go towards it. And I'm saying to myself, that's not going to be me not going to be me while I have air in my lungs and breath in my being while my life force encompasses this being I'm going to work towards my dream whatever it is that's been implanted inside my being from my higher self or from wherever that is giving me this calling to move towards I'm going to answer that call I'm going to answer and so yes so while I have a success 
successful business here. And while it breaks my heart to leave i know that i am going towards my destiny and like i said i don't know oh i don't know if i will be successful but i know that i owe it to myself to try and while i'm youthful and i have this burning furtive life force oh honey i'm going to try every day we exchange a day of our lives for the activity of that day and i know that there is a life force burning inside of me and while i have this life force inside of me i'm going to exchange my energy going towards my dreams and if i could inspire anybody i would say listen it doesn't matter oh baby no Oh, baby, no. It doesn't matter. Oh, honey. It doesn't matter how great things look and seem right now. Answer. Ooh, answer your inner calling. Come what may. Oh, I don't care. Oh, oh, it bothers me not. I don't know where I'm going to go, but I know that I'm going to go somewhere. Listen to me. I don't know. I don't know where I'm going to go. But I know that I'm going to go somewhere. I'm just telling the universe to use me. Use me. Let me be a vessel for whatever it is that I have been called here to do. Use me. I'm going to alleviate myself of the, the, of the, of the things that are holding me down. I'm going to alleviate myself of the things that are weighing me down. I'm going to set myself free. I'm going to set myself free free of the encumbrances that are holding on to me i'm going to set myself free that's what i'm going to do because i'm not going to wait until i get into the afterlife to look back and see what it is that i could have done i'm going to do this now while i am me while i have the capacity while i'm young and while I have the life force still burning, while I still have hope, oh yes, I'm going to do this now. So if I could say anything to anybody, believe me, oh, this is difficult for me. It is. Oh, baby, let me tell you, this ain't easy. This business has been the last five years of my life. I've exchanged the last five years of my life for all of the things here, all of the labels and the jars and the bottles and the raw materials and the contacts and the things that I exchanged myself for day in and day out for five years, half a decade. I've been here every day, baby, and I know I've exchanged my life for the things that are here. I did. And so, baby, tell me, believe me, baby, believe me, it's not easy to leave, but I feel this burning song inside of me. And so I'm going to answer. I'm going to sing my song while I still have air to breathe. And I don't know why me. There's nothing special about me. I'm just a person. I'm just a human being. I'm not special. I'm just like everybody else. But uh, the difference is that I feel this calling in me. So I have to answer. I have to answer. And so how do I, how do I sum up? Because it's taken me so long to come to terms with being able to leave. And how do I sum this up? This is the way I see it. The past five years I've been in business school. And this has been an amazing exchange. I've been in front line, hands on, ground zero, in the mix of things, business school. And better than a business school with a curriculum at a school, instead of paying, <laughs> I paid with my time, yes. But in this business school, I was able to make money. So how could, how could I be mad at that? I learned so much over the past five years. I did. So I'm just going to consider this time that I've been in here business school. I've been in business school. And I have learned a lot. And we've come a long way together. We have. And we have a lot further to go. Honey, well, this is not the end of me. I'm going 
all in. If you want to see a person in full pursuit of their dreams, look upon me. Look at me. If you want to see what it looks like, look at me and see where I'm about to go. Save this video if you need to because this is the beginning and I feel like I'm embarking upon something amazing and I don't know what it is. Uh, oh honey, but I feel it. Uh, oh, I do. I do. So come along the journey with me. Buy your TKO skin products now. When I get where I'm going to go, we'll probably have to go back how we did it, how we were doing it old school when I was making this stuff with a pitcher and doing it like that. Have it very, very limited and really only open up sales at very specific times to people who need to get the product. That's what, that, that, if, if I can help in that way, that's the way I'll do it. If you still need the product and you need to be in there with me, yes. I will find a way somehow if that is what is meant to be. I do, you know what I envision? I do envision that after the Tanya TKO show gets off and rolling, that I'll be able to funnel the money back into, back into TKO Skin to be able to bring TKO Skin up to what it is going to be in the future. I don't, I don't think that this is the end. Excuse me. My stomach is empty. I don't think that that I don't think that this is the end for TKO skin, but there's a shift and a transition. I feel like there's a part of me that feels like I need to really show the universe how dedicated I am to really fully to show and prove how dedicated I am to really actualizing this dream. It's like sometimes we say that we want something, but we don't really do the things that we need to do to go all in. And I'm about to demonstrate my full and total complete dedication to this dream. I'm about to show that right now. My commitment to that feeling, that burning feeling inside that electricity, my commitment to me, my commitment to the world, and I am making a very hard decision right now. So we're about to, we're about to, we're about to move on. So listen, get your product now. <clears throat> I'm going to be doing one more batch of complexion polish. I've just created my last batch of Nature's Eraser. I, w I, I wish I could show it to you all. I'll do another tour before we leave the place. And I've already started selling my things. So if there are any of you who are thinking about getting into the skincare business and you need some empty bottles, jars, tops, I have a ton of dead sea salt that I'm going to be selling wholesale. And so I've started selling things on Craigslist. I'm about to start putting things up on eBay. Um, the, uh, the only thing I imagine keeping is my, my mixer that I make the, the complexion polish with. I don't know why, but I just, I love that thing so. So that's the only thing I really plan on keeping. So if there are some of you, <coughs> if you need a label writer, um, I have the I have a label printer here. There are a lot of different things that I have. So if you need some things, if you're thinking about starting up and getting into business, contact me. Let's let's talk. I listen, I'm alleviating myself of all of this. So I have no attachment to any of it. And so yes, things will be going on sale. But like I said, there's only one more batch of complexion polish, one batch of nature's eraser. So don't wait until you think that things are going to be on rock bottom sale because they, they won't things won't last. They won't last because when I make this announcement, things are going to start flying off the shelf. And they already have, if you can see the shelves now. So listen, let's get out of here. Listen, I love you all very much. You have no idea. What I would love for you all to do is, listen, the journey is really just beginning. <clears throat> Excuse me. Come over to my main website. Well, come over to the main website, TanyaTKO.com. I've just finished writing a, a booklet, a guide on self-love and healing old trauma. So download that guide for free. Um, I'm going to be doing coaching and healing planning sessions and self-love strategy sessions, etc. So come over, get the guide, get on the mailing list over there and stay in touch with me. Stay with me as we grow and go into the next division. This is not the end of TKO Skin. This is not the end of me, if anything. Oh, we've only just begun, honey. The romance is not over. We got a long, 
long way to go I mean, I got a lot a lot of love to give so let's hug okay and I'll meet you on the other side come to my other website hug me hug me hug me <laughs> Oh, I love you. Oh, love, 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 love. <laughs> oh, goodness. I love you all so very much. Go out there and love one another. Most importantly, love yourself. And if anything you could learn from this video and from me is to do what you feel no matter how difficult it may seem take your time now to do it now don't wait don't wait imagine yourself sitting there in the future your older self looking back on when you had the time and when you had the energy and how you talked yourself out of it or you let other people talk you out of it so please don't try to contact me and talk me out of it. Don't, 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 don't. This is something that I need to do. There's, I, I'm not setting up a way for other people to do. That's how Carol's daughter got in into the mess that she's in and how the quality of her product has completely degenerated and why she's filed for chapter, chapter 14 bankruptcy or chapter 12 bankruptcy, one of those. This is how, so no. So I'm going to keep the integrity of the product. We are going to be back. And when we come back, we're going to be vibrant and stronger than ever. We're getting on the shelves. We're going to do this the right way. And when we come back the next time, Tanya TKO will be a worldwide household name. Hanny, <laughs> hear me. You hear me? <laughs> so listen, I love you all so much. Thank you so much for coming on this journey with me. Remember, subscribe to my mailing list over there. Um, and I think that's pretty much it. So listen, I am out. Tanya TKO and I love it. I feel like we should hug one more time. Should we hug one more time? Why not? Come. I agree. I agree. I love you. I love you. <laughs> I love all. Oh. <laughs> I love you all so very much. Very much. Listen, answer your calling answer your dream if we all answered our dream the world would be a much more vibrant place because yeah while there's nothing special about me this is my particular calling there's some people who have a calling for painting there are some people who have a calling for baking this is my calling and I'm answering the call if we all you know how many people who are bakers who don't want to be bakers and how many people who are accountants who wish they were bakers whereas that baker wish that they could have been an accountant and the accountant wish that they could have been a baker meanwhile everybody's miserable listen separate yourself from that which doesn't serve you because really the only thing in this life that you have to do is be happy that's it where does your bliss lay where does your bliss lie where does your happiness begin where does your happiness exist find that find that blissful spot find that and my happiness my bliss is in helping people discover and uncover their their the, the root cause of some of their issues of opening up the world of possibilities of helping people heal some of their old patterns and 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 and, and correct some of their their old past that's where that's where my bliss lay my bliss lay in being of service to people being of service to society to raise the collective consciousness that's where my bliss lay when i when i participate in that at the end of the day i lay down and i feel full and that's a much better feeling than laying down and feeling empty or feeling diseased or feeling encumbered so listen I love you all very much go out there and love one another most importantly love yourself when you come to tanyatko.com you see my links for all of the pages all around the internet so you just click and stay up with me all around the net tanyatko and I'm out peace <laughs>